Greetings, Wastelanders. Cregan here with a quick last minute video, and not because my previous idea was completely shot to shreds and I needed a quick backup. Okay, it's totally because my previous idea was shot to shreds and I needed a backup. But because I wanted to share a quick how to for new players on how to launch a nuke in under or close to 15 minutes. That's right, folks. If you've ever done a standard silo run or hunted down scorched officers for their code fragments, you know how much of a pain this can be. Well, I've got a quick video lined up for you that will show you how to get to the control room in no time. That last fight might push you past 15 minutes depending on your gear, but with this method, you'll be able to glitch your way past the vast majority of the silo and into the control room. But first, if you find this video helpful, and I know there's still a lot of mystery surrounding glitching or even running silos in general, so this has got to be useful to some folks out there, go ahead and hit that like button, and to stay up to date on videos and live streams, be sure to subscribe. Nukes in Fallout are quintessential. If you know your Fallout lore, an estimated 10,000 were dropped in the Great War in 2077 and are responsible for the landscape that we've been playing in in Fallout 1 through 4, New Vegas, and 76. We don't talk about Brotherhood of Steel. But not until 76 have we had the opportunity to try out as thermonuclear tacticians and push the big red button. So why do we need nukes, you may ask? Well, there's three main reasons. One, dropping a nuke on the Scorch Beast Queen or Earl is the only way to get the events to trigger. Two, it's the only way to farm flux for ultrasight ammo and for advanced crafting. And three, sometimes someone just pisses you off enough that you gotta nuke their camp. If you're stuck on the quest I am become death, this is the perfect time to try this out. With halfway decent gear, you can easily solo this, and with the glitch I'm about to show you, it can take your first run down from an hour-long nightmare to a quick 10-15 to 15 minute long excursion. Just remember to bring a lot of ammo to deal with the tons of unhappy robots inside, and a few nuclear keycards just in case of a typo. If you need a keycard, Modus can track a cargo bot for you, but it's generally easier to grab one from a player vendor. You can run this in whatever build you're comfortable with, just remember you're going to need to survive several Assaultron face blasts. So if you're high enough level and are bringing power armor, make sure to equip the legendary card Electric Absorption to negate as much of that damage as possible. Otherwise, anything that helps you either stealth or stomp your way through should be fine. Another thing to note if you're new, all three silos are mirror images of each other. Whatever you see in Site Alpha can be applied in Bravo and Charlie as well. There's also a character cooldown on nukes as well as the rebuild time for that particular silo. Once you've launched a nuke, you can't launch another one from the same silo for three hours even after server hopping. Alright, so here we are at Site Alpha. We're gonna head on in. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is get through these laser grids. And as you can see, we can't. Uh, once upon a time, I think you used to be able to photo mode glitch through these, um, but I haven't been able to in the longest time, so we're going to do this normally. And it's not too bad. And here we go. We're going to get attacked. Take these guys out. Otherwise, it gets really annoying. First person here. Are you done yet? Alright. So, now that we've cleared that, Coming in from the laser grid, you're going to take a left, and you're going to pop into the mess hall. Excuse you. What we're going to look for are biometric ID cards. We need one of those. This is a good spot to find some. Walk around if you don't find one in here. There's lots of places they can spawn. Ah, here's one. Old biometric ID card. I'm going to grab that. Then we're going to head out into the hall, into the next Security area. In the residential sector. There we go. The 
sec or third door on the left. Are you quite done? Third door on the left. I'm going to hop out of my suit here. And we are going to get a biometric scan. Additional security required. No, don't send additional security. It's not needed. Head back down the hall. Thank you. So that's the room with the laser grid. We're going to hop in here. There's no interruptions. Scan that old biometric card. And we're going to fabricate a new one. One last stop. Hit here. Turn left. And register your card. And we look up in front. Ta-da! Laser grid is gone. Security incident resolved. Welcome, General. Scanning. We're going to head straight across. Go through storage. And launch code to launch. And this door right here on your left is the first door that we're going to glitch through. So if you step up to it, you see this requires a terminal. What we're going to do is we're going to go cozy up to the corner and enter photo mode. Then you're going to line the camera up so that you are kind of more or less in your chest cavity. Hey, stop it. There we go. Exit and run straight forward. Might happen on the first try. Might not. Exit. Ta-da. We've just glitched through the door. Once we're in here, we're going to glitch through that next door right in front of us. After taking care of a few mobs in here. Just because I find them annoying. Then we're going to do the same thing here. Are you quite done? You are facing an assault. There it is. Now, I think we can get through. Same deal again. Hop into photo mode. Gonna occupy your chest cavity there. Exit and run forward. First try. Turn left and head towards the silo. Scanners detecting sunshine life. Alert level elevated. Head through the door on the left. Up and over. And here we are in the control room. Now here, you want to make sure you clear out all the turrets, all the bots. We're ultimately going to have to keep five bots alive while they prep the, uh, the nuke.
All right, now that the inner room is taken care of, uh, I want to clean out these halls too, because this is where our bots are going to spawn. We don't need them coming out half dead. do hear an Assaultron somewhere in here too, so we're gonna have to find her. Thought I heard one. Okay. And that should be everything for now. Should be. There. Still don't know where that Assaultron is. Uh, hopefully she doesn't uh, surprise us. I think that guy is on the other side of the wall or in another level. All right, cool. So we are going to head up the stairs and initiate a launch prep. Launch prep sequence initiated. Now the first stage, uh, we're going to have one guy here that we need to protect. And usually you can just kind of camp right here and guard the stairs. In stages two and three, eh, you want to patrol down below. to do one more sweep through the halls because our next wave should be starting soon. Yeah, here they come. alone too, too early. There's the Assaultron. Well, that was unfortunate, but not the end of the world. We can actually hop back in here and summon a new chief. Launch control chief active. Ah, there we go. There's our telemetry officer. Oh, that's my guy. Shooting my poor guys. Launch prep at twenty five percent. Chief guidance officer active. Chief target officer active.
contact. Engaging. Uh oh. There she is. Just, where do you think you're going? Here one. There she is. There we go. Insert a nuclear key card. Now, because I've already launched a nuke this week, it's not asking me for a key code. Um, but, pretending that I didn't, the easiest way to get this week's key codes is to head to nukercrypt.com and just check the codes for the site that you're at. So in this case, I'm at uh, site alpha. So I'm going to go to nukecrypt.com. And alpha this week is 12914939. Fortunately, I don't have to re-enter that. So we're going to go to the targeting computer. And let's drop one on the Scorch Beast Queen. And there you have it. That's how to launch a nuke in as little time as possible. Maybe not quite 10 minutes, but definitely a lot faster than the original way. Well, folks, that does it for today's video. Hopefully this helps you get through your silo runs faster, or if you haven't done so already, complete that first drop on the Queen. If you're watching this as a premiere, there won't be a live stream tonight on Twitch as I will be touring some real-life locations from Fallout 4, but you can catch me next Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with the 11th episode of The Outer Worlds. I'm Cregan, and I really hope I'm not going to run into Preston Garvey today. Another settlement has sent word that Damn they it, need Garvey! I'll mark it on your map. Go find out what they need.